Welcome to how to build an alert task with Core.ai's Bot Builder. This video walks through the process of what an alert is, how to build an alert task, and adjusting settings of your alert. Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will record our first alert task. An alert is a notification that is generated by the bot. So when we build an alert task, the objective is for the bot to watch for something that's uh, something interesting that's happening in the service um, that we are monitoring, right? So in this case, we are looking at posts and I want to be notified when a user I'm following uh, creates a new post. So I want an alert that comes to me and gives me some details about the post so that I can go ahead and read it or if it's a short post, maybe I'll show it in the, uh, in, the, in the chat message. Or if there are multiple posts, then I need to be able to get to them in some manner. And uh, again, with notifications, some of the other things I would like to control is how frequently do I get the notifications? Do I get it when the post is posted right away? Or do I wait for a specific amount of time, like check every hour and let me know, or every six hours or every day? Or do you want, me, uh, do you want the bot to check the uh, list of posts at uh, some predefined time, like let's say 6 p.m. I want to read all the posts, all the new posts that's been posted out, right? So those are the different ways in which you can be notified and an alert task help you do that. So to build an alert task, again, we will use the same API endpoint. Uh, what the bot does behind the scene is the first time when you activate an alert, it gets all the posts and subsequently based on the frequency that you have set up, it wakes up and hits the API again and see if there are additional um, additional entries in the, in, in, the, in the API call and then uses that to notify the user. So we'll use the same API endpoint and uh, create a new alert task. So let's call it new posts. And most of this process is very similar to uh, the steps we did when we created a uh, action or a information task. So here I pick the content type, no authorization, everything remains the same. I'll create a request entry. Again, similar to what we did last time. Uh, post. Then we paste the URL here and select the content that was JSON, save it and I'll test the API endpoint to get some sample response here okay there we go and I'll save it uh, one of the different thing uh, different thing you can do with alerts is that if uh, if the alert has a link in it you can also show a preview of the link as a part of the message global in this case, I'm just going to say no to that, just to keep it simple. Now the bot response, again, uh, this is very similar to what we saw with an information task. We can have an optional report definition, right? So uh, this way I can say, hit this report, generate this report and notify me at any time when there is new data in that report, right? So that's another way in which we can use an alert task. In this case, I'm just going to ignore the, uh, not use a report. And all I want to do is, uh, when there is a new entry in the uh, new post, uh, when the API returns a new entry, I just want to respond with the, let's say, the title of the post. And let's say maybe just with the ID. Okay. So I create that response and save it. So, so far, everything has been very similar to an action or an alert task. Now the difference here is uh, that when I set up an alert, I can also say when a user uh, subscribes to this alert, uh, he could get the option of filtering what alerts he gets, right? So I can add a filter, let's say, for user ID. So in this case, when the user is setting up the notification stream, he can say that uh, he only wants to be notified when a user ID matches certain criteria, right? So it's a text. And, and these are the options that the user will have. We'll say the user can filter user IDs by based on it contains certain numbers or certain name uh, uh, characters, 
or it matches exactly certain uh, usernames or user id or it does not match certain username or user id right so this way the user gets to choose what are the uh, posts that he uh, that he can uh, subscribe to right so i save this oops this went at all click ok and save it uh, let's save and exit that already saved that uh, and here uh, again so the trigger interval options are the these are the options that uh, the user gets to choose from right so i as the developer says that my user should be able to set this alert either on a daily or a weekday or a weekend uh, basis and he can also pick based on should it be at a at every one hour or two hours or at a predefined time right and these are the time options i'm going to give him let's say every at uh, at 1 a.m 2 a.m or you know pretty much any time or at any cadence okay and so these are the options that my uh, user will be uh, presented with and this is the default that i am also selecting for the user right so uh at, let's say so this is the default time when the bot will wake up and look for posts but now the uh, the user can choose to override those default and make a selection based on any of the trigger interval options that i configured previously there are again a few uh, additional uh, configuration i can make in this advanced setting and finish it up so now i can talk to the bot and say can you let me know when there are new posts so now the bot understands that i'm trying to set an alert when new posts are created it says okay you select a new post and select the frequency you want i'm just going to go with the default here and says do you want to set up any filters i'll say no i'll just go with everything so the bot is just confirming that this is what i want my alert itself is a configuration so it's going to get the name new post uh, and it will be done every morning at 9 a.m and there are no filters at that so cool so now every morning at 9 a.m this bot is going to wake up check for a new post and if it finds any new post it's going to notify me and let me know that there are new posts uh, and it will show me the title and the id because that's what i set in the response so this is how we set up an alert task